We're going to continue topic 4.4 and we're going to do explain three where we are now going to multiply complex numbers. So in this first um, one here, these are going to act just like they would if we were doing this with a, an X in there for the variable. So we are going to FOIL them. Um, so we've got 4 times 6 would be 24. Then my outsides, 4 times negative 2i would be negative 8i. And then we have 9 times 6, which would be 54i. And then 9i times negative 2i would be negative 18i squared. Now I'm going to combine like terms. So I know that I'm combining together negative 8i and positive 54i, which would be positive 46i. Now there's a little bit of a catch here. We know that that, neg that i squared is the same as negative one. So I take a shortcut here. I know that whenever I see i squared, it, if it's negative one, it's always gonna swap the sign on this term. So really this is gonna be better known as positive 18. So I'm just gonna, when I see the i squared, I'm gonna flip, flip the sign. So 24 plus 18, when I combine these together, would be 42 plus 46 i. I'm going to take a slightly different short, I'm going to take that shortcut with B. Unfortunately, B did not get typed out. I'm sorry for that. So go ahead and make sure you've written B in there. And we're going to FOIL it. So 3, negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. Negative 3 times 4i would be negative 12i. 12i times 7 is positive 84i. And then 12i times 4 would be positive 48i squared. And when I see i squared, I know that this term will be better known as negative 48 because the i squared represents negative one. Now I've got it down to two lines where I can just combine like terms in this line. So negative 21 and negative 48 is negative 69. And 12, negative 12i and positive 84i is positive 72i. So the reflect question is asking, is the product of a plus bi times a minus bi, where a and b real numbers, is it a real number or an imaginary number? And we need to explain. So let's go ahead and FOIL that out just like we would anything else. So a times a is a squared. a times bi would be negative abi. bi times a would be positive abi. And bi times negative bi would be negative b squared i squared. So these two we know would cancel. We know the i squared is going to turn into negative 1, which is just going to swap this sign to positive b squared. So we've got it would end up as a squared plus b squared. And it told us that a and b are real numbers. So I didn't get any imaginary units. So I would know that this would be a real answer or real numbers. So this would be a good time, pause the video and actually try these um, on your own and then start the video again and check your answers. So I'm gonna FOIL in number in your turn 10. So six times three would be 18. Six times 10 I would be negative 60 I. Negative five I times three is negative 15 I. And negative 5i times negative 10i would be 50i squared, which is better known as negative 50. We're going to combine like terms. So I have 18 minus 50 is going to be negative 32. And I have negative 60i and negative 15i is going to be negative 75i. In number 11, we're going to FOIL again. So 8 times 11 is 88. And 8 times i is 8i. And 15i times 11 is 165i. And then 15i times i is positive 15i squared, which is going to be better known as negative 15. 88 minus 15, if I look at that, 88 minus 15 is going to be 73. And 8i and positive 165i is positive 173i.